What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ecoli Espresso and welcome back to another Infinite Warfare video here today on the channel. In this one, we're going to be talking about something that is actually very important to the integrity of Infinite Warfare and it's something that is now finally getting some action on it and it more so deals with a smaller group of portions of the player counts and not really anybody on the PlayStation 4 and or Xbox One, but instead it's a much needed change for PC. That is something that's coming right now and it seems to be in a new wave that's coming, but there are bans rolling out for PC on Infinite Warfare. Now, to many, this is going to be something that does not seem like too much of a big deal. Of course, if you guys are on Xbox or PlayStation, it doesn't affect you at all. But for players on PC, this is probably a big sigh of relief because there is a huge problem with hackers, modders, and everything within Infinite Warfare. Now, first and foremost, this is not a discovery by myself, but instead a discovery by the Reddit community, more specifically MadMike89 over on Reddit, the Infinite Warfare subreddit, he posted the following image of a friend of his that ended up getting a VAC ban or a Valve anti-cheat ban. That is the Steam security client that will issue bans and not something from Activision Infinity Ward or anything like that, but instead the at the top for the console Steam. Now, for those of you guys that are on Xbox One, PlayStation 4 and are wondering why is this something that is a huge deal? Well, for the time being, and this is the first time that we've seen this happen on Steam and on the PC version of Infinite Warfare. There is absolutely no anti-cheat security system for Infinite Warfare. Every single Call of Duty and majority of games will release, especially at the AAA level, with security measures to stop modders, stop hackers, and to stop anything that is a cheating system within the game that is launching. Now, this is something that, of course, is very problematic at this point because it's a PC port. A lot of people feel the PC is neglected at this point as is. And then whenever you go two months on a AAA title with absolutely no support to a security system, that's something that it leaves players questioning and really in the dark on the whole topic itself. So after two months now of playing the game, players can now at this point maybe breathe a little bit easier. I don't know if this is say one fluke or something in a million that will happen or if a whole ban wave is coming out and by the indications of Valve anti-cheat bans or VAC bans, they usually go out in waves. So this might be a good thing to look forward to as a PC player, obviously. Time will tell as it always does, but for the time being, there might be some hope on the horizon here for players that do enjoy the PC version of the game or that like to play the PC version of the game, but cannot due to hackers and modders and other cheating systems alike. That said though, is it something that after the wave goes out, there will be a lessened number of them? That's something that, once again, I couldn't tell you at the moment. If there is still no security measures in place, all it would simply do is just prolong the inevitable of the hackers and modders coming back, because if you can do it once, you can do it twice if there's nothing installed to allow players to play in a fair advantage and fair environment. So right now it is what it is. I'm hoping that this is now a nice little push forward in the security measures for Infinite Warfare. Definitely as somebody that is a PC gamer and loves to play PC games, but admittedly should probably upgrade their system and rig a little bit to play better games at a better quality. I can totally understand where PC players have some frustrations here with this and they can't actually play and enjoy the game to the fullest of its abilities, but as somebody that is from the Xbox One and PS4 community as well, it's sometimes hard to look into this situation and empathize for it as something that we don't really experience all that much, but it is a huge problem. I'm glad that it's seeing some resolution right now, but hopefully there are security measures and fail safes put into play place so that this does not happen after this ban wave goes out. So that said, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'm going to wrap it up here at this. want to let you guys know a little bit about it. I know not many of my viewers are on the PC version of Infinite Warfare, or at least haven't really expressed it in the comments before. But for those of you guys that are, this might be some good news here for you guys. And of course, any of you guys, I'd love to hear your thoughts down there in the comment section down below on this. Do you guys think it's a good idea to finally put into place some security measures here for Infinite Warfare's PC ports, or do you not necessarily care all that much about it? Would you guys like to see some hackers in game? All that kind of stuff. So that said, hopefully you guys enjoyed. And if you guys did, make sure you drop a like down below. And of course, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe to stay up to date with everything Infinite Warfare, Modern Warfare Mastered, Black Ops 3, and anything Call of Duty related. And finally, if you guys want to follow me over on Twitter, that is the best place to get connected with me here outside of YouTube. Practically live over on Twitter. So if you guys want to just ask me something, have a casual conversation, whatever it is, it's always welcomed. And the link is down there in the description. So that said, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. My name is Nicole Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.